Punt again. Takes it. Oh, it's gone in again. Punt and Brooke Neal wait at the top of the circle. Mary moves forward once again. Will be punt, sweeps towards goal, high to the keeper's left. And Anita Punt has got a third for New Zealand. And they know that that puts them in a very strong position in this match. So Punt with another opportunity. Punt scores for New Zealand. They have a lifeline. Anita Punt has done it again. What a leader she is for the Black Sticks. Out there sleep for Rio at the moment, it strikes me. But McLaren just shifts a little bit now. Will she go direct? Yes, she does. And she equalises, just as Mal Trullo said. Keep it simple and you'll get the rewards. New Zealand back on level terms. Their captain firing home. It's fantastic execution. The little um, movement at the top just opens up that angle, but it's a fantastic drag flick by Anita McLaren into that corner. You can almost see the ball, certainly from behind, it, the, the swerve that she manages to generate. It's around the corner from Kirsten Pierce. And out towards Sophie Cox. Cox. Creates a little bit of space, Ansley's there, reverse stick, goal! And it's Anita McLaren who scores on the reverse stick, and the black sticks are level again. But Britain have been under a bit of pressure, the initial shot cleared by Ansley, but only as far as McLaren, and McLaren this time gets the better of Maddie Hinch. Really good work initially from Sophie Cox, I've been impressed with her this week, especially in these instances, she uses her body so the defender's unable to get to the ball, and is really good at keeping it close to her feet and get a shot in. Ansley trying to 